Hi, ladies and gentlemen. All right, to get straight to the point here, China is now saying they can clone humans. I brought you this uh, back about probably better part of six months ago. Chinese company Boya Life Group is set to start basically this process. Um, I talked about this. Oh, I'd say about six months ago when I said that they basically bred canines that could smell up to a hundred times better than most dogs or all dogs for that matter probably um they were mass producing cows that had like a hundred times more muscle and all these really really weird genetic uh situations and this is the company boya life group uh b-o-y-a-l-i-f-e group um where they're basically going have already started cloning cows and everything uh, earlier this year and everything. Um, now I'm trying to go through this real quick and kind of picking out the parts that are new besides the general info. But oddly enough, this group exists in Tianjin, China. And I still think those terror attacks, ladies and gentlemen, that were in Tianjin were based on something that they were either shipping out or bringing in for this very company. I believe beyond a reasonable doubt, the United States, somebody else, used an energy weapon and destroyed cargo that was coming into this facility because this company is cloning human beings, and I want to know what really went on. And because this company is so heavily secretive thereabouts, and in Tianjin, during, and I believe that if we were to look at the uh, cargo manifest, we would have found out that this company had something going out or coming in that night when they had that um, quote-unquote explosion that was like two miles in each direction. And it looked like a crater from an energy weapon. Yeah. Um, anyways, folks, I'm pretty certain they would have something to do with this. Anyways, uh, according to Chief Executive uh, Zhu Zaichen, the group's activities won't stop at just cloning cattle. Uh, the factory intends to produce thoroughbred racehorses and dogs. I already talked about this, so this is old information here. Um, I'm trying to get to the part here. I'm not so certain. Uh, there's a whole lot of new information on this in terms of the human factor. But anyways, folks, scientists basically now have the ability to clone humans. They've said this before in several other articles when I brought you that um, piece. They came out and said that they basically couldn't do it due to uh, moral situations, but they had done one or two um, with no head to show that they could do like the body parts and everything. So, um, somebody asked me if I still think the human body is sacred. I do to a point, um, but I believe if I get a limb, you know, lobbed off, I think I have the right to go to a facility down to the local hospital and have them use my genetics and have them ship me a new limb. I don't believe I should walk around with a stub the rest of my life. I don't believe that anyone else should, especially. Whether it be an eyeball or an arm, a leg, I think we now have the technology where everybody can walk around at near model looks. And I think we need to start implementing that, uh, you know, to where everybody looks their best, nutrition wise, health wise, body wise, size wise. I mean, this is what the future is. This is what the technology we are ha we have in our grasp is capable of doing. Let's do it for all mankind. Let's do it for all animal kind. You know, just because your doggy is old doesn't mean you put them down. You only put them down when they can no longer, you know, when they've lived their life and unfortunately have a stroke where they end up very, very paralyzed or something along that lines, especially if they're 15 or 16 or 17 and then hopefully you have the money for the medication to where they can basically get the genes of a young puppy and then have another 10 years with them. That's what I'm hoping will come from these scientists 
in China and in the United States, along with everything else. I don't believe in a 110-year-old uh, great-grandma, you know, sitting in her apartment not able to do anything. I think she should be out going to the movies. She should be out. I, I don't think at that age, um, even if we were talking 100 years in the future, she should be out driving. But she should at least have all her cognitive senses and all her regular senses to where she can go out and go to the movies if she wanted or participate in a local, you know, um, bingo game or whatever she wants to do at that point. And I think these scientists in China and in the United States who are actually doing this stuff will bring us a lot closer to that future. And so I look at this as a good thing. Yes, unfortunately, there will be humans that have, you know, better instincts that you and I will ever have. Well, I have better instincts in certain situations than most people, and it pisses them off. Um, one of the things I'm, you know, bitched out about is I'm supposed to be a remote viewer. I don't usually, you know, come out and do weird shit, but, you know, I can sense certain things certain times based on pheromones and whether or not, you know, you're giving off signals and stuff. And it kind of creeps people out, but, hey, that is the way that I'm built. And I do my best to act as stupid as I can to where people don't know that I can actually do that kind of shit. Because more than likely, if somebody says, oh, you can't do that, and then they're going to sit there and lie when I try to think of things on behalf of them. And then they're going to be like, oh, man, you got that all wrong. <laughs> and then, you know, it's going to be bad. So that's why I try to do my best just to go, okay, fine. That's cool. Whatever. So anyways. Chinese scientists say they have now have the ability to clone humans. Uh, so, check out Boy Life Group on their website and everything. Find out when they're actually doing this. Because last time I learned, they had trials up and running. But I don't know what happened to those. Thank you.